What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Lair. So Lair is a brand new horror film that I got to check out a little bit early. Uh, depending on when you see this, the movie may or may not already be released. Uh, today is the 8th and that's when I'll be uploading this, the 8th of November 2021 and tomorrow on the 9th is when this movie actually will be released on all VOD platforms for rental and for purchase. If you could check out that poster right there next to me, you can see that it's got a cool 80s vibe, very 80s aesthetic in terms of its poster, and almost has a Nightmare on Elm Street kind of feel and vibe. And so right out of the gate, I was really interested in this movie when I was sent the screener because of the poster alone. And once the movie started and I started to see people like Oded Farr, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, as well as Corey Johnson, I was like, okay, we got some familiar faces in here. It seems like something that's going to be pretty solid. But I have to be honest and start this off by saying that this is not a film that I can recommend to my viewers, and it's a film that kind of bored me. Now, I have talked to a couple of my other peers who have seen this movie who are also going to be dropping early reviews for it, and a lot of them seem to actually really enjoy the film, but it seems to be a mixed bag. For me, this was just a very generic horror story, and a lot of times you can take that kind of basic premise and make an entertaining movie, but ultimately, this movie was kind of boring. This film was directed by Adam Ethan Crow, who is not a director I'm familiar familiar with at all. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'll start off by saying I enjoyed the way that he chose to direct this film in terms of how it looked, a lot of the cinematography, and how he had uh, the actors playing out these scenes. Uh, but ultimately, where this film kind of lost me really was the narrative. Over the course of the film, I just found myself bored. I didn't really care for any of the characters, and I was just kind of waiting for things to happen. And quite frankly, it felt like the film was rather uneventful. There are things that happened, but by the time the movie was over, I kept thinking to myself, how are we already in the third act? And I just feel like really not much has happened. So the basic premise of this film is that at the very beginning of the film, we're introduced to a man played by Oded Farr, and right out of the gate, I was interested because here's this guy, I believe, from The Mummy, right? And so I'm like, cool, you know? And then I see Corey Johnson. I'm like, all right, cool. Two recognizable faces. We're introduced to Oded Farr's character as he's uh, in jail and is saying that um, he did not kill his family. His family is dead, and uh, he's been accused of killing his family, uh, but he says that there was something else in the house. At first, Corey Johnson's character doesn't necessarily believe him, but eventually tries to see if he can try to prove it and capture anything on camera. So he rents out like an Airbnb sort of thing across the hall from his apartment where he has a whole camera and monitor set up that is connected to cameras that's in that Airbnb. And so he rents out this apartment to this uh, young family of women and yeah, they're all staying there. It's supposed to be a great time, but of course they do not know that there are cameras in there as well as uh, little evil artifacts that Corey Johnson's character has placed into the apartment to see if he can capture something happening on camera. And over the course of the film, things start to happen. So in a lot of ways, this is a pretty generic, uh, you know, supernatural ghost demon in the house kind of movie. But there is something different about it, especially with how they wrap it up. I feel like they were trying to go with something very clever. But ultimately, while watching it, I was pretty bored. I kind of pride myself on being somebody that if I ever feel like tired, maybe I started a movie a little too late or whatever the case may be. Maybe I'll just pause it right there, pick it up later on so I can keep up with what's going on or restart the movie, especially when I'm sent to screener. I don't ever really like to um, watch it in pieces because I want to be able to give the, the most genuine review as I possibly can. And so I watched this all in one sitting, but I'm not going to lie, my eyes were heavy while watching this, and I was completely fine as soon as the movie was over. So it wasn't even a situation where I was like really sleepy and I started watching the movie. As soon as the movie was over, I was up and at him and I was watching other things. And yeah, you know, ultimately, I just kind of found this film to be a bit dull, a little bit boring, and just a little bit uneventful. So I'm going to make this a really quick review by saying... This isn't a movie that I necessarily recommend for everybody, but if you're interested in checking it out, like I said, starting tomorrow on the 9th, or if you've already seen this days later, then the movie's already out. Uh, yeah, you know, it comes out on VOD if you're interested in it, you want to rent it, maybe purchase it, add it to your horror collection. I can't necessarily say I'd blame you, but this is not a film that I can give a flat-out recommendation for. I think you have an interesting premise there. You have some familiar faces mixed in with faces I've never heard of before. Uh, and I think everybody, for the most part, gives a solid performance. But yeah, the supernatural element for me was sprinkled in so little that it kind of just made the film feel kind of dull and boring. And these characters don't have enough going on in their story to really keep me engaged. Also, one thing 
things start going bad and the demon starts destroying everybody, it's not really something you ever really see too much of. You know, you just have little moments. And there's moments where I was just thinking to myself, what really is going on? You know, like that's just kind of how I felt while I was watching the film. You know, some of the CG in the film was fine. But uh, yeah, they definitely primarily focus on the CG blood. And sometimes it was incredibly noticeable how cartoony it looked in these scenes, which, you know, in the horror genre, who doesn't love actual physical blood props or anything like that? So to see mostly CG blood across the film was a little bit disappointing, but, you know, I won't mark off too many points for that. Uh, but ultimately, I just found the film to be kind of dull and just kind of generic, and it's not necessarily something I was in love with. So that's going to be my thoughts on Lair. Depending on when you've seen this video, have you seen the movie? Have you not seen the film? Are you intrigued by the film after hearing me talk about it? Definitely curious to hear any and all of your thoughts. If you're somebody who was part of the film, please, you know, feel free to leave me your comment down below as well. You know, I, I always struggle with watching a screener early because I know that there is the chance that because I'm one of the earlier reviews that somebody that's attached to the film may watch this. And I never want people to feel like I'm just crapping on their stuff because, hey, they went out and made a movie. Uh, but yeah, but ultimately, this just didn't work for me. And I just have to be honest and uh, kind of maintain the integrity of my reviews here on the channel. So that's my thoughts on Lair. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.